Hey, what's up? This is Alan B. Charity, and welcome back to my mobile marketing strategy. All right, so today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about some Facebook, okay? And we're not gonna talk about the group page or the fan page, we're gonna talk about your regular page because that's the first thing that you need to know about to even get started with the group page or your fan page. So, what I wanna do first is I wanna just talk about how it is that you build your page with, if you're a business owner, a local following, because if you have a brick and mortar business, you want people to come to your business. So the people that are on your page should be near your business. Uh, I'm gonna say you wanna give you know, a five to 10 mile radius of the people that you want on your page. And so let me show you how you do that. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to the search. And in my, my city is called Youngstown, Ohio, all right? So, let's look here. Youngstown. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna look and see what comes up here, okay? So I can look into here where it says Youngstown Neighborhood Development. Now, I already know this page. I've done some research here. It has 6,217 people that like it, all right? They also get a huge amount of engagement on their posts when they post a picture. When they post a good one. Like this one, okay? So this one has like 361 likes. If I go in here and I go into the likes, you're gonna notice that I have a lot of mutual friendships with most of the people that like this page. That is by design, okay? So basically, what I did to set um, to set my initial Facebook up when I came um, back to this city is I looked for people who were already following things that were city specific, and I followed them. I knew they lived here, all right? So I followed them, but you have to realize these people are all a part of the same group, and that's how I built up my mutual relationships. If you see, like, look at this guy, Steve. Hey, what's up, Steve? We've got 492 mutual friends. It's not an accident. So now if I friend request Steve, he's gonna look at my page. He's gonna also look at our mutual connections. Uh, I, I must know this guy, even if he doesn't know me. I must know him, I, or I must know someone who knows him, or he must know someone who knows me. And it's going to give you a um, what we call conversion rate, a higher conversion rate of people that actually accept your mutual connection because on Facebook, it's not a, a I follow you, you follow me thing. It's a mutual connection. It's a, um, would you like to be friends? I accept and now we both are friends and now we both can see what uh, each other are posting, okay? And so that's, um, that's pretty powerful, all right? So uh, let's back out of here and then uh, let's take a look maybe at this, okay? So if you go down to Youngstown State University, and you scroll down, you're gonna notice we got likes too, but let's go to this picture here. Okay, 20 people like this, but we have a totally different audience inside the same city, all right? So when you scroll down here, you can see I basically have, you know, no mutual friendships or connections with people that like this page. So even though this page is about people from Youngstown and it's about Youngstown State University, it isn't very connected with the actual community because the Youngstown Neighborhood Development um, Organization is actually a community-based organization, and I know that. So I know that the Youngstown Neighborhood Development Organization actually has people that are participating and care about the community that are following it versus people who may go to Youngstown State who may be um, here for two or three or four years who are just studying here who actually are from here who actually don't have anything invested here who aren't going to be here and so that's a very important factor when you're looking at the local you know uh the local people that you're trying to get to follow you are they going to even be here in four years or are they connected to the community or are these two groups connected together and as you can see no ysu and, and um and uh YNDC are not two organizations that are associated with each other. That's a school, and then we have the Youngstown Neighborhood Development Corporation, which are two separate groups, all right? So if I want people from YSU 
to now follow me. I have to now build a friendship with people that are going to YSU so I can get my mutual connections to say uh, upwards of 20 to 30 friends that we have mutually so that they will accept my friendship, okay? Now, another thing that helps with conversions is also your image or picture that people see when they come to your page or when you uh, uh, friend request them. Now, since I'm a mixed martial artist, that translates a lot across a lot of different um, genres, industries, people. A lot of people like martial arts. A lot of people like, like fighting. So when I, what I did was I put a little video here of me just hitting mitts with uh, my trainer tank. And it's, it's uh, very attractive. It just repeats over and over and over again. And of course, everybody's not going to have a video of them doing some crazy kicks and punches. But say you teach classes. Um, whatever you do with your business, you need to just create a little action clip that's about seven seconds long. That's very fast and uh, fast paced. And put it as your profile video. And this is a new feature from Facebook, but I guarantee that your conversion rate of people that accept your friendship will go up just because that's so cool. All right?